Greetings, citizens of YouTube! Fake Sagan once again. And I got my moderate Christian responses. I, I didn't think that uh, they would both respond, so I was, I was pleasantly surprised by that. And I'm sorry I'm late with this response, but I'm still sick and I've been working a lot. Also, as an added bonus, I got a response from Jesus Reek. That, that kind of caught me off guard since I addressed my question to moderate Christians and not, um, whack job, bearded, fundamentalist, soda can sculpture making Christians, but yeah, hey, I'll take what I can get. I'm going to respond piecemeal to each one of these, as not all theists are the same and warrant the same response, just as not all atheists are the same. So let's begin with God uses a Mac. Okay, well the first thing that I liked about Guam's response is that before he got into anything else, his immediate reaction, his, his first reaction, was to try and think of a way that he could empathize with my position on this issue. Uh, as, as he said, he imagined that his children were threatened by some disease to which stem cell research might hold the answer. Uh, I, I would actually suggest that you uh, that you imagine it's your wife. That would be a little bit more uh, a little bit more uh, accurate. Well, you know, at the risk of sounding prejudicial against organized religion, which which I am. Uh, that's not the the reaction that I expect from a theist uh, most of the time, and that that's something I've always liked about your videos, Guam, is that you seem to uh, you seem to think about things before you just launch into a uh, a, a knee jerk response. Um, actually, what I like most about your videos is that you sound more like Kermit the Frog than I do and that, that takes some of the uh... some of the, the Kermit pressure off me you know, it's kind of a little little cracker relativity there, I, I, I'm grateful for the the men whiter than I on YouTube so it makes me look less like a goofy white guy anyway, I'm sorry I... now, y you know, y you seemed a little confused as to why I mentioned you by name, um, it, it seemed like you thought that really came out of left field. Well, y you know, the reason that I chose you and Jack is that the two of you are the uh, archetypal moderates in, in the YouTube Christian community. From what I've seen, you're the Christians who uh, you don't hate gay people, you're not protesting the Harry Potter books, um, y you know, you're such down-to-earth guys that one could almost forget you believe there's an invisible being guiding your lives, you know, uh, and, and for the most part, you represent the Christian zeitgeist in America. You, you guys, I, I, I mean, the, the average American Christian is not Jerry Falwell. The average American Christian is God uses Mac. So, you know, I feel like if I could get a handle on where your heads are at on this issue, I can figure out what's wrong with the country. Uh, so, as, as Guam and, and Jack go, so goes the nation. That was my idea when I when I called you guys into this, and you know you seemed a little dismayed. Like, well, why is this landing in my lap? Um, I, I guess it's because it's landed in Fake Sagan's lap, and and he watches my videos. Well, it's it's landing in in your lap because you're a Christian. Uh, I mean, you said that you didn't really want to get, or he didn't say he didn't want to, he said it was difficult to get into the science of this and, and try to apply your morality as a Christian to these questions. Well, y you know, at, at the risk of, of uh, sounding like an angry atheist, um, if more Christians felt that way, we wouldn't have a problem. 
you know, wh where the difficulty comes in is the fact that you guys aren't content to sit on the sidelines. Uh, you do want to insert your Christian morals and beliefs into science. Uh, and th that's what presents the problem. That's why I want to talk to you guys, and I want to know where your heads are at on this issue. Um, well, you don't really seem opposed to the idea of, of stem cell research at all, except insofar as uh, th these embryonic stem cells are concerned, which, of course, are the only kinds that matter. Those, those reverted skin cells are cancerous. Uh, that may, you know, they may find a, a workaround to that problem, but in the foreseeable future, that that's the way it's going to be, and, and the only ones that are really worth a damn are the embryonic stem cells. So I think that the real issue here is this idea of a soul, which of course predates any knowledge of the human brain and the functions that the brain serves. Uh, when, when human beings came up with the idea of a soul, we had no idea that the brain was the seat of human consciousness. I can't help but think that you people have been forced to contemporize your belief system so many times throughout the ages already. Um, the, the church used to persecute scientists who uh, espoused a heliocentric model of the, the solar system rather than a geocentric one, but eventually you guys got on board with the idea that the Earth revolves around the Sun and not the other way around. Um, the whole evolution thing was was a bit of a, a rocky transition too, I mean you got the Scopes Monkey Trial and all that, but eventually you guys got on board with evolution too, for the most part. I, I mean there's still a few holdouts down south who, uh, you know, who, who go in for the, the creation science, but, but for the most part, by and large, you guys got on board. You, you got on the boat. So, I'm wondering if, if maybe the time hasn't come to contemporize this, this uh, outmoded, antiquated idea of, of a soul. Uh, because we've known what the brain is and, and what it does for quite some time. It's, it's not headline news anymore, and, and I think it's time to contemporize the faith and, and, and get bring it up to speed, get it with the times. Um, stem cell research isn't the only problem area for you guys. Uh, look at, like, the, the Terry Schiavo case. Y you know, th this idea of a soul I is troublesome. It's, it's causing problems for everybody. And I don't see that you have to give up your faith by phasing it out. You know, maybe Jesus can uh, sneak into crypts at night, like the Tooth Fairy, and, and remove brains from the craniums of the faithful and abscond with them to heaven. You know, wh why not that? Why not a... a materialistic uh, afterlife. It's just, it's just a suggestion. Maybe you could talk to your, your parish priest about that for me. And just, just put it in the suggestion. Do, do, do churches have suggestion boxes? Maybe, maybe you could put the suggestion in the uh, collection plate.